we're bringing somebody out here. You know, when people hear uh, the word Hawaii, a lot of times images of that giant surf comes to their mind. People riding big waves and carving. Well, guess what? Often those people riding those waves fall off their boards, and it is the job of my next guest to save them. Now, to give you an idea of what he deals with on a daily basis, let's go to the Sony screen. I want to show you some footage before I bring them out. Take a look at this. It was a really nice day. The winds are perfect. The swell direction was perfect. Everything about it was trademark pipeline. What started out as an attempt to get long, great rides on videotape turned out to be a series of one great wipeout after another. It looks like watching a scary movie and you're gripping your chair and you're going ooh and ow and wincing with pain. We paddled out and it was my first wave. I took off and I wiped out. He basically just free fell down the face of the wave as if just going out the window of a building. His neck whiplash, his feet come all the way over backwards, almost touch him in the back of his head. I was watching for him to come up and I didn't see him. And then I see the board tip up. What that means is you've got a person underwater drowning. He had to grab his surfboard, pull it up, grab him by the leash, handline him in like a fish, grab his legs, pull him up on the... Woo. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the head lifeguard here in Hawaii, Mr. Paul Marino. Hey, Paul. And uh, did they make you wear uh, shoes in the office? <laughs> oh, sorry, life, once a lifeguard, always a lifeguard. <laughs> now, you're, you're the head lifeguard, so what, uh, well, what does that mean? Andy, it's not really like a head lifeguard. I, I'm a captain of the lifeguards. Okay. And the, lifeguard of, the lifeguards of Oahu are broken into four regions. Okay. And, and I, I'm doing the south shore of Oahu. Mm -hmm. There's the south shore, the west side, and the east side, and the leeward side. And uh, there's four captains, and I'm in charge of the South Shore now. Okay. After my 28 years of keeping my toes in the sand, they put and, me in an office. And dealing with that there. Yeah, that's true. You know, those uh, rescue skis have really aided the lifeguards in allowing us to get to these patients a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. Patients. You're patients, yeah. See, it's a whole new terminology. Lifeguarding isn't like it was in the old days where we just, you know, cruise the beach and watch the people and... Talk to the girls. Well, you know, <laughs> the, there's a lot of that involved in it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Andy, to be successful and to be a lifeguard this long, you really have to turn it into a profession. Mm -hmm. We've had great leaders like Brian Kelana, Buffalo Kelana, um, the, 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 the old timers who really showed us the way mm -hmm. of the water and the knowledge of the sea. You, you, know, the, you know, a lot of people will say, well, you know, you're not on the North Shore having to deal with this. Oh, you're skating on yeah. the South Shore, which includes oh. Waikiki. But the difference, I'm guessing, would be the people out in the North Shore are water men and women. Right. The people out here, a lot of times tourists from the Midwest, they don't have a clue and they can be more dangerous. Well, that's true, Andy. A lot of people don't realize that the South Shore, we saw five million visitors last year on the South Shore alone. And uh, a lot of those uh, people come with their illnesses. And when they what, go... What does that mean? Well, you know, Andy, when, a lot of the times uh, the people who come and visit us have illnesses. Already, they, they already have a, a, a weak heart or they're on medication. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Well, they go out into the water and they overextend themselves mm -hmm. and they get into trouble. And uh, our job is to look out in that water and uh, know how to pick out the ones who are in trouble and the ones who aren't. We're going to hear a little more about that when nighttime comes back. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Yeah. You examine fine works of art, right? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Hang on. I'll be right back. Hawaiian host chocolate-covered macadamia nuts. Uh, take a close look. Go ahead. How would you rate these? Exquisite. Uh, try one. Try one. Hmm. Isn't that amazing? You know, seven out of ten people prefer Hawaiian host in a blind taste test. Creamy. Hey, you know, that gives me an idea. Perfect. A masterpiece. So check this out. Taco Bell's got this dollar value menu, and it's totally awesome. 
Between classes, I grab a soft taco and a bean burrito for only a dollar each, and I'm good to go. Chilling with my lady. Got all our favorites for just a dollar each. We're feeling the love. Me and my boys on a late night cruise. Oh yeah, pretty much ordered the whole menu. Taco Bell's dollar value menu. It's wicked cool. People just can't say enough about the great taste of Pizza Hut's new Pizza Mia Pizza. Mm. The rich whole milk mozzarella. Mm. The sauce made from vine ripened California tomatoes. Mm. And a perfectly baked crust. Amazing taste at an incredibly low price. What more can you say? Mm. Get a great deal on three or more medium one topping Pizza Mia pizzas every day. The new Pizza Mia. Mm. Get more, not less. Pizza Hut. Order online. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> You're always on the go. Always got something to do. So for over 100 years, local families have been heading to City Mill to get things done. Your neighborhood City Mill has got the things you need, always priced right. Zip in, zip home, and the next thing you know, <laughs> the jobs are all done. Then it's right back to being busy, 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 but in a good way. City Mill, priced right every day.